In this lecture, we will look at how all the wonderful and reliable information technology is changing the world of production and operations management. Sorry, it seems like we had some technical problems there. Do you see me now? Ah, it seems like I'm back. Uh, where was I? Oh yes, how IT is improving the way we make and deliver things. Basically, I will talk about three things today. The current manufacturing IT stack, digitization and digitalization, and finally digital transformation. First, before we talk about the vision of the future, let's put a foot in the ground and see where we stand today. A manufacturer uses a range of softwares to develop products, most famously computer-aided design, CAD. Some advanced firms are also using product lifecycle management software to manage products all the way from prototypes to recycling. In the factory, the manufacturer uses three layers of hardware and software with completely different functionality and user interfaces. At the lowest level, level 1, we find the Programmable Logic Controller, PLC, the workhorse of automation. A PLC is a special purpose computer that has been ruggerized for industrial environments. It can be programmed to open a valve, start a machine, send a signal when an operation end, and many, many other things. At level 2, Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition, SCADA, is a software that enables the remote control of many PLCs and the control systems of many machines. It is a control panel for the operator for running machines and collecting information about their operations. At level 3 is the Manufacturing Execution System, which is a production control software. It monitors running operations and can be used to inform about deviations to targets and plans. Note that many manufacturers do not have a manufacturing execution system. Hence, for these firms, data from the shop floor, levels 1 and 2, are not integrated with business transaction data from level 4. At level 4, production planning and scheduling is taking place in the material resource planning modules of ERP systems. There are, of course, also softwares for integrating with suppliers and customers, and some attempts at developing softwares for entire supply chains. Increasingly, there are also web-based platforms that can store data from various levels and use them for analysis together with other relevant data. A famous example is Amazon Web Services. So, while you now have a general understanding of the IT stack in manufacturing, let me make sure you understand that we are not talking about one software at each level. There are many of them, and because the use of IT standards is a competitive fight, they usually don't talk well with each other. Therefore, more software, so-called middleware, is needed between layers and systems. Overall, manufacturers can have hundreds of IT systems, each of which must be kept up to date, maintained and protected against cyber risks. While many software are brilliant, problems often appear in the interfaces. And there are many interfaces. This is the reality of today. In light of digitization, digitalization and the digital transformation, it is important to have an understanding of where we are when we want to talk about where to go. So, what do we mean by digitization, digitalization and digital transformation? Digitization is the process of converting analog data into digital form. Digitalization is the strategic use of digital data to increase business performance. When these changes are small but many, or radical but few, we can say the firm is undergoing a digital transformation. Now, consider a simple production process where materials come from a supplier, are processed in a factory and leave to a market. For all the materials, human labor, methods and machines in each process, data can be collected. And this can be done directly through the SCADA systems or machines from integrated or retrofitted IoT sensors and cameras, from manual data collection and a range of other methods. Now, this data must be transferred to and stored in databases or data lakes. To enable analysis and data-driven decision-making, the data must be connected with other data. We can refer to this process of data collection as digitization. Note that digitization as such has no business value, but comes with large costs. However, if we start to use this data, which of course is why we collect them, for transparency, dynamic planning, forecasting, business intelligence or production improvement, we are engaging in digitalization, which can have immense benefits to the firm. 
We can, for example, use the insights from data to launch new products or approach the market differently. One example here is servitization, adding services to a physical product. Consider Ravensburger, the game puzzle and books company from Ravensburg, Germany. Ten years ago, they launched TipToy, a digital pen that adds more content to the classic children book and board games. My kids love it, and Ravensburg makes more business with me. Or we can use the insights to improve the processes of the manufacturer and its supply chain. We can call this data-enabled production improvement. One example that we are currently researching together with industrial partners is to use data to improve process and product quality. For example, if you manually assemble hundreds of circuit boards with variations every single day, how can you make sure everything is correctly placed? One possibility is to use machine learning with image processing. Feed a photo of the assembled product to a platform, run a machine learning algorithm to look for anomalies and feed back a visual signal to the operator. The potential for improving manufacturing and service operations with data is great. If you're interested in a career in production and operations management, I strongly recommend some self-study in this domain. If you can combine expertise in production and operations management with basic data science skills, you will be an attractive job seeker. But be aware of the hurdles too. Outdated data systems, missing links, missing data, inaccurate data, risk of data theft and cybersecurity issues, and organizational inertia will undoubtedly slow you down. I hope you now know a little bit more about the foundations of digitalization in manufacturing. Stay tuned.